Uh, the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. It was so posh, right? Two older ladies behind me chatting. One says to the other, I think I'm going to get Giles a truffle cutter. <laughs> Giles a truffle cutter. <laughs> I don't know where you get either of those things. <laughs> a Giles or a truffle cutter. <laughs> How sore does he want his chocolates? I don't even know where it is in the Argos catalogue to cut it out. <laughs> he must have a great life if all he needs is a truffle car, right? <laughs> he's probably not happy, is he? He's like us. You think you've got it, he wants one a little bit more. And he's probably at home furious, like, seriously, guys? <laughs> where is my truffle cutter? <laughs> where is it? <laughs> How do you expect me to cut my truffles? <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> Good at posh face, aren't I? <laughs> All you need is horse teeth and an angle on it. <laughs> if you want to go full posh, though, you've got to do the air as well. And it's... It's all there for everyone to see. Seriously, guys! <laughs> this is not a joke! <laughs> Where is my truffle cutter? <laughs> Cynthia, answer me this. Have you ever eaten a truffle hole? <laughs> no, because I cut them with my truffle cutter! <laughs> You've got a job in Rob Beckett. Be lucky. See you later.